Good morning, Half-Heart family, and welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayers. Today we honor St. Bernadette of Lourdes, oldest of six children born to Francois and Louise Castoreau, and grew up very poor, hired out as a servant from the age of 12 to 14, shepherdess, on the 11th of February, 1858, around the time of her first communion, she received a vision of the Virgin. She received 17 more in the next five months and was led to a spring of healing waters. She moved into a house with the Sisters of Nevers at Lourdes, where she lived, worked, and learned to read and write. The Sisters cared for the sick and indignant, and at age 22, they admitted Bernadette into their order, since she was both. Join me in the reading of a letter by St. Bernadette. I had gone down one day with the two other girls to the banks of the River Gav, when suddenly I heard a kind of rustling sound. I turned my head toward the field by the side of the river, but the trees seemed quite still and the noise was evidently not from them. Then I looked up and caught sight of the cave where I saw a lady wearing a lovely white dress with a bright belt. On top of each of her feet was a pale yellow rose, the same color as her rosary beads. At this I rubbed my eyes, thinking I was seeing things and I put my hands into the folds of my dress where my rosary was. I wanted to make the sign of the cross, but for the life of me I couldn't manage it, and my hand just fell down. Then the lady made the sign of the cross herself, and at the second attempt I managed to do the same, though my hands were trembling. Then I began to say the rosary, while the lady let her beads clip through her fingers without moving her lips. When I stopped saying the Hail Mary, she immediately vanished. I asked my two companions if they had noticed anything, but they said no. Of course they wanted to know what I was doing, and I told them that I had seen a lady wearing a nice white dress, though I didn't know who she was. I told them not to say anything about it, and they said I was silly to have anything to do with it. I said they were wrong, and I came back next Sunday, feeling myself drawn to the place. The third time I went, the lady spoke to me and asked me to come every day for fifteen days. I said I would, and then she said she wanted me to tell the priests to build a chapel there. She also told me to drink from the stream. I went to the Gav, the only stream I could see. Then she made me realize she was not speaking of the Gav, and she indicated a little trickle of water close by. When I got to it, I could only find a few drops, mostly mud. I cupped my hands to catch some liquid without success, and then I started to scrape the ground. I managed to find a few drops of water but only at the fourth attempt was there sufficient for any kind of a drink. The lady then vanished and I went back home. I went back each day for fifteen days, and each time, except one Monday and one Friday, the lady appeared and told me to look for a stream and wash in it, and to see that the priests build a chapel there. I must also pray, she said, for the conversion of sinners. I asked her many times what she meant by that, but she only smiled. Finally, with outstretched arms and eyes looking up to heaven, she told me she was the Immaculate Conception. During the fifteen days, she told me three secrets, but I was not to speak about them to anyone, and so far, I have not. 
since the appearances of Mary to young Bernadette in 1858, more than 200 million people visited the Shrine of Lourdes. Saint Bernadette of Lourdes, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forevermore. Amen. Prayer to Our Sorrowful Mother by St. Alphonsus Maria Liguori O my afflicted mother, queen of martyrs and sorrows, thou didst so bitterly weep over thy son, who died for my salvation. But what will thy tears avail me if I am lost? By the merits, then, of thy sorrows, obtain for me deep contrition for my sins and a true amendment of life, together with constant and tender compassion for the sufferings of Jesus and thy sufferings. And if Jesus and thou, being so innocent, have suffered so much for love of me, obtain that at least I, who am deserving of hell, may suffer something for thy love. O Lady, will I say with Saint Bonaventure, if I have offended thee, injustice wound my heart. If I have served thee, I now ask wounds for my reward. It is shameful to me to see my Lord Jesus wounded, and thee wounded with him, and myself without a wound. In fine, O my mother, by the grief that thou didst experience in seeing thy son bow down his head and expire on the cross in the midst of so many torments, I beseech thee to obtain for me a holy death. Cease not, O advocate of sinners, to assist my afflicted soul in the midst of the combat in which it will have to engage in its great passage from time to eternity. And as it is probable that I may then have lost my speech and strength to invoke thy sweet name, and the holy name of Jesus, who art all my hope, I do so now. I invoke thy Son and thee to assist me in that last moment, and I say, Jesus and Mary, to thee I commend my soul. Amen. An Act of Adoration O great God, the Sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, I prostrate myself before thee. With all the angels and saints, I adore thee. I acknowledge thee to be my Creator and Sovereign Lord, my first beginning and last end. I render to thee the homage of my being and life. I submit myself to thy holy will, and I devote myself to thy divine service this day and forever. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Regina Celli, O Queen of Heaven Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia! For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia! Pray for us to God, Alleluia! Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia! For the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia! Let us pray. O God, 
who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we beseech thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that Thou art one God in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because Thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O my God, relying on Thy infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of Thy grace, and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O my God, I love Thee above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because Thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of Thee. I forgive all who have injured me, and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Now we make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. Adorable Jesus, divine pattern of that perfection to which we should all aspire, I will endeavor this day to follow thine example, to be mild, humble, chaste, zealous, patient, charitable and resigned. Incline my heart to keep thy commandments. I am resolved to watch over myself with the greatest diligence, and to live soberly, justly, and piously for the time to come. I will take care of my words that I may not offend with my tongue. I will turn away my eyes that they may not see vanity and I will be particularly attentive not to relapse this day into my accustomed failings, but to struggle against them with thy gracious assistance. Enlighten my mind, purify my heart, and guide my steps, that I may pass all my life in thy divine service. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Litany of the Most Holy Name of Jesus Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Splendor of the Father, have mercy on us. Jesus, Brightness of Eternal Light, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of Glory, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of Justice, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Lovable, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Admirable, have mercy on us. Jesus, Mighty God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the world to come, have mercy on us. Jesus, Angel of Great Counsel, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Patient, have mercy on us. Jesus, Most Obedient, have mercy on us. Jesus, Meek and Humble of Heart, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lover of Chastity, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lover of Us, have mercy on us. Jesus, God of Peace, have mercy on us. Jesus, Author of Life, have mercy on us. Jesus, Example of Virtues, have mercy on us. Jesus, Zealous Lover of Souls, have mercy on us. Jesus, our God, have mercy on us. Jesus, our Refuge, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the Poor, have mercy on us. Jesus, Treasure of the Faithful, have mercy on us. Jesus, Good Shepherd, have mercy on us. Jesus, True Light, have mercy on us. Jesus, Eternal Wisdom, have mercy on us. Jesus, Infinite Goodness, have mercy on us. Jesus, Our Way and Our Life, have mercy on us. Jesus, Joy of Angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of Patriarchs, have mercy on us. Jesus, Master of Apostles, have mercy on us. Jesus, Teacher of Evangelists, have mercy on us. Jesus, Strength of Martyrs, have mercy on us. Jesus, Light of Confessors, have mercy on us. Jesus, Purity of Virgins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Crown of all Saints, have mercy on us. Be merciful unto us. Spare us, O Jesus. Be merciful unto us. Graciously hear us, O Jesus. From all evils, Jesus, deliver us. From all sin, Jesus, deliver us. From thy wrath, Jesus, deliver us. From the snares of the devil, Jesus, 
deliver us from the spirit of uncleanness. Jesus, deliver us from everlasting death. Jesus, deliver us from the neglect of thine inspirations. Jesus, deliver us through the mystery of thy holy incarnation. Jesus, deliver us through thy nativity. Jesus, deliver us through thine infancy. Jesus, deliver us through thy most divine life. Jesus, deliver us through thy labors. Jesus, deliver us through thine agony and passion. Jesus, deliver us through thy cross and dereliction. Jesus, deliver us through thy faintness and weariness. Jesus, deliver us through thy death and burial. Jesus, deliver us through thy resurrection. Jesus, deliver us through thine ascension. Jesus, deliver us through thine institution of the most holy Eucharist. Jesus, deliver us through thy joys. Jesus, deliver us through thy glory. Jesus, deliver us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who hast said, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Grant, we beseech thee, to us who ask, the gift of thy most divine love, that with all our heart, words, and works, we may love thee and never cease to praise thee. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name, for thou never failest to govern those whom thou dost solidly establish in thy love, who livest and reignest. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Hold him close in my name and kiss his fine head from me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Prayer to Our Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer of the Half-Heart Family Dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come together as the Half-Heart Family to extend our deepest gratitude for the many blessings showered upon us. 
though we recognize our unworthiness. In humility, we ask for forgiveness for all of our sins. We pray for our salvation and endlessly seek your mercy. We remember the holy souls in purgatory, seeking their comfort and release. We lift up all sinners, especially those in their final hours, along with those members of our families and those dear to us. May your grace guide them to you. We hold in our hearts the sick, the hospitalized, and those confined to their homes. May they find healing in your embrace and return to health and wellness. Our thoughts turn to Pope Francis, praying for his strength of mind, body, and spirit. May he lead the Holy Catholic Church, fulfilling the mission you have entrusted to him. We pray for the leaders of nations around the world. Grant them the wisdom to govern according to your will, bringing the world much needed peace and righteousness. Finally, we yearn for the unity among all Catholics, from Pope Francis to your clergy, from all the devoted religious to every parishioner. May we come together under one holy Catholic and apostolic church, under one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and under the one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yam Lucis Orto Sideri Now that the star of light has risen, let us to God most humbly pray to save us from all hurtful things in all our actions of the day, to bridle and restrain our tongue, that wordy war may not resound, to cover and protect our sight from dangerous follies all around, to drive iniquity away and purify our inmost soul, and by spare use of meat and drink our rebel passions to control, that when the day has sped away and he again the night shall bring, we may through holy abstinence with purity his glory sing. All glory to the Father be, all praise, eternal Son, to thee, all honor as is ever meet to God, the holy paraclete. Come to us, Holy Spirit. Come to us, Holy Spirit, come, one with the Father and the Son. Vouchsafe to dwell within our souls, and quickly make our hearts thine own. Let voice and mind and heart and strength confess and glorify thy name, and let the fire of charity burn bright and other hearts in flame. A Morning Offering Through St. Joseph Receive me, dear and chosen Father, in the offering of every movement of my body and soul, which I desire to present through thee to my blessed Lord. Purify all, make all a perfect holocaust. May every pulsation of my heart be a spiritual communion, every look and thought an act of love, every action a sweet sacrifice, every word an arrow of divine love, every step an advance toward Jesus, every visit to our Lord as pleasing to God as the errands of angels, every thought of Thee, dear Saint, an act to remind thee that I am thy child. I recommend to thee the occasions in which I usually fail, particularly mention your occasions here, pause the video if needed.
accept each little devotion of the day, though replete with imperfection, and offer it to Jesus, whose mercy will overlook all, since he regards not so much the gift as the love of the giver. Amen. O God, who canst not. O God, who canst not change nor fail, guiding the hours as they roll by, brightening with beam the morning pale, and burning in the midday sky. Quench thou the fires of hate and strife, the wasting fever of the heart. From perils guard our feeble life, and to our souls thy peace impart. Grant this, O Father, only Son, and Holy Spirit, God of grace, to whom all glory, three in one, be given in every time and place. Amen. Prayer Before a Crucifix Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before thy face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul I pray and beseech thee to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds, having before my eyes the words which David the prophet put on thy lips concerning thee, O good Jesus. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Saint Michael Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Adoration of the Holy Cross I adore thee, Holy Cross, which has been adorned with the tender loving hands and feet of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and imbued and died with his precious blood. I adore thee, my Lord, nailed to the cross for the love of me. I again adore thee, O most holy cross, for the love of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. By the sign of the holy cross, deliver us from our enemies, O our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a prayer with us. And support the channel's mission to take these powerful prayers to more hearts and souls by sharing this video. God bless.